All right, we are at our final video in our STEM design process series. You have identified a problem. You have investigated to learn everything you could about it. You have interpreted what you learned in your investigate step to better understand your problem. You've ideated potential solutions and come down to what you would actually do in your implement step where you attempted to solve that problem. And now the last step, is informed where you're going to reflect on everything that you went through and how it went and you're going to share that out with your audience. The quote I picked for this step is, failure is an option here. If things are not failing, you are not innovating enough. Too often, um, somehow school gives you the impression that if what you thought would work didn't work, then you have failed and that that's a bad thing. And in life, that's just not how it goes. Um, think back to science fair where you had a hypothesis. If I do this, then this will happen. And how often did that actually happen? More often in science, it doesn't. More often we're wrong and we have to keep tweaking and changing and trying something. Um, rarely is the first thing that you make the last thing that you make. You will improve it and fix it. And if your solution for your project utterly failed and did not work, I want you to understand that is not a bad thing. What you'll be doing in this step is reflecting. Now that you're done, it's time to reflect. So think about these three questions. How successful was your solution? You spent in this course an entire semester trying to understand the problem and the user and hopefully what you picked to do worked for them. Um, was it successful? Was, was it not successful? Both are okay. Second question you want to think about is, well, what could you have done to improve the solution? Even if it worked, remember, there's always ways to make it better. So what could have improved it if it worked? Or what could have made it better if it didn't work? And then the last thing is, and you may remember this from Science Fair, what could you have changed completely to make your solution more successful? What's your next time? What could have been done differently? For the rubric, your target is that you can inform others on your process uh, and reflect on successes and areas to improve. So for a four, you're reflecting on the entire process, specifically the impact of your implementation. For a five, you're doing that and you're positing potential next steps to address failings or weak areas. In um, reality, you know, you wouldn't have an artificial time constraint necessarily to do that implement step. You would do it over and over and over again. You would probably revisit the investigate step to learn some more information and go back and forth and back and forth. Um, this is school, so we have that artificial constraint of, hey, you're graduating, so um, you should all have potential next steps to um, address areas in your project that could be improved. And that is the end of our design process. This is the steps that you've gone through I know we've done it in a very linear way, and in the real world it's less linear, but hopefully this has given you a really good foundation in problem solving that you will take into whatever career you are improving. Thanks for watching.